Hey, it's Drew Dillon from Project Lift, and in this video, we're looking at beating anxiety when approaching heavy lifts. Now, if you're new to this channel, here at Project Lift, we specialize in the Olympic lifts. Snatch, clean, jerk, we love them, we know them, we can help you. Now, check out our free guide, How to Improve Your Olympic Lifts Now. It's a great guide for new athletes or athletes who've been doing it a while who want something that can support them in training today. Once this video helps you, smash that thumbs up button, pay it forward, share it with a friend it could help, and make sure you subscribe. New videos are coming each week. All right, the first question I have for you on beating anxiety when approaching heavy lifts is when does this happen for you, right? Is it a certain number, right? I know the title says heavy lifts. Is it a certain number? Is it generally on any day you know you're having a test, a test day? Right? This is very important information to figure out when the anxiety strikes. Are they certain numbers? Is it which lifts? Is it just general on a test day? And the more that we can open this up, we crack it open and see what's in there, the more you're going to have the tools to move right through it. So when is it happening for you? Comment below. I want to know, is it test days? I've had a lot of athletes. I've had tons of experience with athletes when you put a test day in and here comes the anxiety or around certain numbers, here it comes. So when is it for you? How to navigate anxiety when it comes up around heavy lifts or test days or whenever it's coming up for you. The first thing I want to cue you in on is your breathing. Where is your breath? As you're approaching this lift, as you're getting ready for this lift, how are you breathing? And what this really calls up is are you still present or are you disconnecting and going somewhere else? We need to be able to be present to be able to respond to the barbell. Find your breath. I guarantee you, if you start breathing, taking nice deep breaths, that anxiety is going to lower a bit for you. The second thing when we're navigating anxiety that I want to highlight is what language are you using around this, right? Now, this may be in your mind. This may be what you say out loud. I want you to grab a journal and I want you to write it out. What language are you using? What are you telling yourself? How are you describing what's going on? How are you describing how you're responding to the barbell? This is huge because our language, if we're looking from a mindset com uh, component, our language is very easy for us to access and it's truly the building blocks of our mind. Right? So if we start to change the words that we're using, we will immediately start to change the thought process that's responding. So if I'm approaching a bar and I'm thinking to myself, oh shit, this is heavy. All the sensations I just felt through my body were dread. Right? But if I'm approaching a bar and I look at this and I, I, I change it to it's payday because I'm thinking about all the work that I've put in prior to this and it's payday now. This is where it pays off because I'm going to attack this weight. There's a bit more excitement there for me, but that's me. So what language are you using? What's coming up for you when you're approaching this heavy bar? The third thing when navigating this that I want to highlight, and this is honestly something you need to have a coach present, a coach guide you through, but I want to share it with you because it's helped a ton of our athletes. And a lot of times around anxiety, there will be a certain number, right? Their strength, their capabilities, their training has all built up to a point that they're good for this number. They, they truly are. So what we're about to do here is justify it. And what I mean by that is if somebody hasn't been training, they're not ready for the number they're approaching, this, this technique that I'm about to describe could put them at more risk. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to say an 85 kilo snatch is the culprit for a particular athlete, right? They can hit 80 any given day, 85 comes up and they just freeze. So here's what we do. We start going into one kilo increments and we put it on a clock. So when we do this, two things happen. The jumps are so small, it's, it's easier for the nervous system to adapt. And because we have them on a clock, they don't have time to sit and think about it. So using both of those, those are two different techniques, put it on a clock or one kilo increments could help you as you break through this anxiety point in your development. The last thing I want to say about anxiety is 
looking at the connection between anxiety and excitement. What's super fascinating is if you look at some research that's recently come out, what they find is the pathway that we feel anxiety is the same pathway that we feel excitement, which raises a big question. When someone feels anxiety, does someone else describe that as excitement and vice versa? So when we approach or we're getting ready for a heavier lift or a test day, what happens when you feel that anxiety if you change it in your mind to this is excitement? What comes up for you, right? How does that interlink for you? It's very similar, you know, you're, you're going up the hill of a roller coaster. Now, often we describe it as that nervous, excited feeling, right? It's, it's basically the same pathway and we're on a, a fence and we're kind of leaning either way, like, oh, I'm kind of nervous, ooh, I'm excited, back and forth. What happens if you change this to excitement, right? Your body's feeling excitement because it knows it gets to perform today. How does that change help you? I hope it does. So leave some comments below. Let us know how this supported you. See you next week.